Hi ladies, it's Kathy and welcome to the channel. Today I'm sharing seven classy looking leggings outfits for us apple body shaped women over 50. Because we have an apple body shape sometimes, dressing can present a whole set of new challenges for us to help us look longer and leaner. So today I'm going to be showing you how I shopped my closet using pieces that I've already owned and I'm going to show you how I make seven different outfits from everything that I already own. And I think that they turn out looking nice and classic and classy. Now, whenever I'm talking about leggings, I'm talking about not those, you know, stretchy, cheap leggings that when they stretch, they get all shiny and you can see everything underneath them. I suggest looking for a really good quality fabric. And I like these leggings from Talbot. So they're Soho Ponte leggings. So Ponte fabric is a thicker more flattering fabric so it sort of just like hides any bumps or lumps that we want to try and camouflage these particular leggings are available in misses um, well from you know the smallest size right up to a 3x and also in a plus petite so I'm wearing plus petite length in size 20 and in black they're also available I think in navy and in gray I will also link some alternate ideas for you at uh, different price points but you might just want to go check these out because they may be on sale I know they often have sales on so I like these particular leggings because they have a heavier type fabric and by heavier I mean you know, not that um, stretchy fabric, like cheap leggings, you know, you'd wear maybe to work out in. They're flattering and they're a nice weight material. I think, you know, I could wear year round. So the Talbot Soho leggings are a modern go everywhere legging. They have the sculpting ponte knit fabric that shapes and smooths your body. And whenever I'm putting my leggings outfits together, I like to go for a monochromatic look because I find that is very slimming. It helps me to look taller. I'm five foot four and it helps me to look a little leaner. And then I like to add in some color with maybe some colorful sweaters or, you know, jewelry, accessories, makeup. I just think that going in a monochromatic look that it's really a classy look. So I hope that you enjoy my video and that it helps to inspire you to go shop your closet. And if you are interested in any of the pieces that I'm showing today, everything will be linked and listed below in the description box and also in the first pinned comment. So outfit number one, I'm wearing the Soho leggings with a pair of black socks and I'm actually wearing a pair of mules that I had bought from Old Navy last year. So I just thought that they were kind of a nice dressy type of shoe, something different instead of just wearing a loafer. And then on the top, I am wearing a mock neck top from Spanx. So it's sleeveless. And I just found this topper in my closet that still has the tag on. I think I bought it a year or two ago from Amazon. And it's just a fun animal print. Now I have been looking for like a beige sweater or a nice camel color. I can't wear that color. I have tried so many different sweaters. It just washes me out. So this is as close to camel as I'm gonna get. And personally, I think animal print is a neutral. I think it's fun. And I just think that it livens up this outfit, making it look classy and fun instead of just putting on like another black cardigan. You could also wear like a red cardigan, any color really, because black is also a neutral and it would look great with anything. But I decided to go with the animal print because I'm going to tie the whole look together with gold jewelry. So I just have on a pair of gold hoops. This gold necklace is actually from Amazon. I bought it a few years ago. Very inexpensive. I'm wearing a gold bangle bracelet. I think I might have got this like from Talbot's but I'll try and find a few. So it just kind of the gold pulls on I guess the beige in the, uh, the little topper that I'm wearing. So I think that this is a fun outfit and I really like it. And then for my handbag, I like to carry a medium to large handbag. And this is an older Michael Kors handbag that I have. I think it's a Hamilton handbag. So I think this is a really fun, cool look. And I was looking for my animal print loafers. I know that I have a pair, but for the life of me, I cannot find them. 
because I was gonna kind of bookend the sweater with the animal print print loafers. But in retrospect, I really like the look of the mules. It's a different look for me, but I think it's also a more uh, on-trend look and it's just kind of polished and fun looking. So let me know what you think of outfit number one. So look number two is more of a sporty look. So we have the same leggings and socks on and then I've switched out the top. Underneath I'm wearing just a layering tee. It's a long sleeve one from Banana Republic. I have it in gray. They, you know, I think they're available in like navy, black, maybe white. But they're a really good quality and I got them on sale like 40% off. They always seem to have really good sales on. So then on top of the layering tee, I decided to put on the new Spanx Air Essentials uh, track jacket. This is a really cool jacket. It does have two front pockets. It kind of reminds me of the 80s and the Adidas look. So this is going to come in handy when I go for my walks, you know, in another month once it starts to warm up. And it's the perfect jacket because it's black with white. It's gonna go with so many different things, like you can dress them up or, you know, just wear casually. And on my feet, I'm wearing my On Cloud sneakers. So I've taken off the gold jewelry. I've kept the jewelry very simple. All I'm wearing are a pair of silver hoops because this is probably a look that I would wear, say if, um, I don't know, I was running errands or maybe I was gonna go for a walk in the woods. I'm also using my crossbody Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, or you could use like uh, any crossbody, the Coach Cassie. I also have, and I carried that purse for like five years straight every single day. And if you want more budget option, I believe there are a few similar at Walmart. And then for my lips, I'm just wearing this new to me lip gloss. It's by Dior, it's a lip plumping gloss and I wanted to try it out. It feels great, it's really not tingling on my lips and I will put the color on the screen because even with my contacts, I cannot see. So this is another option to wear with leggings for a much more I think casual or sporty look, but I still look put together. So look number three is definitely one of my more dressier looks. So if you're going to a business meeting or you know you wanna dress up for church, this might be a look that you might consider. So wearing the same socks and leggings, I kept the layering tee from Banana Republic on. It is a heather gray. I like a heather gray, so I decided to stick with gray rather than wearing all black, but it still gives me that monochromatic look. And then over top, I'm wearing the Banana Republic knit blazer in a XXL. Same silver hoops, no jewelry, and on my feet, I'm wearing a pair of uh, boots that I had picked up from Talbot's and I'm carrying just a nice tote bag. And if you wanna add some color, you could just put like a colorful scarf on like I'm showing you here. And I think that this is just a really nice elevated look. And I think that it just shows how versatile these leggings are. So for look number four, I wanted to go with sort of a dressy casual vibe, but also add a pop of color. So I'm wearing just an old pair of, um, you know, uh, slip on sneakers. I'll try and link something similar below. I have on that beautiful pink Talbot shirt. It's also available in navy. And then this is an old, old navy uh, vest that I like to wear. You know, in the days in winter when it's kind of too hot for a coat, this is perfect, say if I'm going to the mall or going to pick up groceries, and then I can just pop on my belt bag so that I'm hands-free. You know, this will hold my uh, small wallet, my phone, maybe a pair of glasses, but that's uh, that's about it. And they do have different sizes. This is navy. I kind of regret, I wish I would've got black, but if you want colorful ones, there are a ton of colors to choose from. So I think that this is a nice sporty look as well. Jewelry, kept it simple. I just put in um, some pink gold earrings and I'm just wearing my Apple Watch. So for this next look, I've kept the same black slip-on shoes on. I was going to put on rubber boots, but I, I'm getting tired of changing clothes, so I didn't feel like hunting around for them. But you know, feel free to switch out whatever footwear you want. But I like the uh, all one color, it just elongates the leg, helps me to look a little longer 
taller. So I'm starting this outfit off with just a very simple sweatshirt type thing. This is the Spanx pullover. I like it because it's a perfect top to wear with skinny jeans or leggings because it covers the crotch, it covers the butt, and it's it's a flattering top. It's also available, I think, in a white. And then I decided I was going to pop on a denim jacket that I had from last year on top. I realized this look may not be for everybody, but I just wanted to show that option because, you know, you do need a little bit of a jacket on in the spring. So for those of you that like denim jackets, I just wanted to offer that look. You know, if you have a spring jacket, uh, they're only beginning to um, pop up now in the stores. We still have another five or six weeks of winter left, so I won't be getting one for a while. But I just wanted to show you that option. And again, I just kept the uh, gold and pink earrings in just for a little bit of a pop of color but I think this is a, a nice type of dressy comfortable casual look if you're meeting somebody for lunch or you know just hanging out at home and you want to look put together in case the purulator guy comes to the door. So for look number six I have put the old navy mule shoes back on. I was gonna put loafers on but I thought oh, I kind of like the look of the mules they're a little dressy with that horse bit across the top so I decided to wear them and then I just have a sleeveless striped tee that I bought in January at Talbot's. Stripes are big for 2024. And even though I have an apple body shape, I found that I can pull off a uh, horizontal stripe as long as it's a dark stripe and the stripe is very small. I wouldn't wear like big stripes because then it could like make my belly look a lot bigger than it is. And then it's actually navy. And I think this is navy as well. I bought this last year from Talbot's. And I like a longer cardigan, an open front cardigan. I've just come to realize that I'll probably never get a blazer that looks great on me. I do like the Banana Republican one though. I'm, I do like it. But I'm happy with just like an open front cardigan. I just feel like I'm too um, round in this area, like my shoulders, belly, that whenever I put a blazer on, I look boxy. So I like a longer cardigan and an open one because it gives me length that creates like that outside silhouette of a monochromatic look. And then you can change up your top area. And that just creates one long vertical line to help me look a little taller. And I like an open front cardigan because it kind of drapes over the belly and it kind of hides the, the round belly. So I kept the same earrings on because this is my last outfit change and I am wiped. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hot under these lights doing all these changes. So yeah, let me know which look was your favorite and if you're inspired to make any outfits from your closet with some leggings. So the final look is super simple. The only thing that I swapped out was I changed the top and I'm just wearing a colorful top just to break things up. I have the same boots on. I have the silver hoop earrings and I just have this nice little pearl bracelet. I think I picked this up at J. Crew. And then I didn't bother putting a necklace on. It just really didn't feel like it. I'm getting kind of warm after all these outfit changes. But you know, if you have any sweater that goes with whatever color leggings that you have, it's just a, a really nice cozy look for the kind of last days of winter and early spring. If you wanted to pop on a necklace, you could. You know, the blue I like with the black because it, it's kind of like in the same color range. Whereas I think if I put a pink on, then it would really be a high contrast. But you know, have fun with it. Just if you have a sweater, try it and I'm sure you'll like it. So if you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I know that over 50% of you watching have not subscribed. It's 100% free. And I do my best to bring you two to three videos every week on topics that interest us women over 50. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.